Hello my beautiful friends, hope you are all fine and you're spending a very good time with your family and in your lives. Today I want to talk about three prepositions in, on and at. Today I will cover the prepositions, these prepositions and uh, their usage in the time expressions. First of all, I would start with in. In is used with centuries. When you want to talk about centuries, which it means 100 years, we use in. As an example, we say in 1900s. Then we have decades, that would be 10 years. Now, from centuries we come down and we go to 10 years. What do we call 10 years? Yes, that's right, it's a decade. For decades, we use in as well. For example, in the 90s or in the 60s and then we have years we use in with years for the year itself we use in in 2021 i was born in 1981 we use in with months all of the months we use in in July, in February, in March, we use in with weeks, in five weeks. I did my homework in one week. We use in with seasons. For seasons, we use the preposition seasons we use the preposition in in summer in spring in winter also we use in with the parts of the day for example what are the parts of a day they can be divided into few that we use in with those. For example, we say in the morning, in the afternoon, and also in the evening. So we use in don't forget that we need to use the before morning, afternoon, and evening. All in all, it can be centuries, decades, years, months, weeks, and also for the parts of the day. Like, I was born in 1981. I was born in April. I ate breakfast in the morning. Use the preposition on for days of the week. For example, I saw my friend on Saturday. I went there on Wednesday. Let me give you an example. On Monday. We never say in Monday. On Saturday. Use on to talk about the dates. I was born on April 10th. She will return my book on May 3rd. For the dates, we use on. We go like this. For example, you want to talk about September 14th. Here you use on September 14th. 
My birthday is on April the 10th. If we have the combination of a day and a part of the day, for example, Sunday morning, we use on, on Sunday morning, on Saturday evening. So for the combination, if you remember that, for the days of the week, we use on, on Wednesday. But for the parts of the day, we use in, in the evening, in the morning. But for the combination, Sunday morning, Wednesday evening, we would use on. A day plus a part of the day. For example, morning, Sunday morning. I would say on Sunday morning, on Wednesday. afternoon. Also, we use on for the special events and special days, like my birthday. We use the preposition at before the words like night, midnight, and also noon. Pay attention, for these three parts of the day, we only and only use at. If you remember, I told you about morning, evening, and afternoon. Now I want to talk about three more. Night, midnight, and noon. At noon, at night, and at midnight. There are two other usages for sunrise and sunset. We say at sunrise and at sun set. For example, we say the party started at sunset or the party finished at sunrise. The other usage for at is to talk about the weekend. Don't forget the weekend. We always say at the weekend. For the word the, don't forget this, Weekend. We always use at. At the weekend. When we want to talk about the time, we always and always use at. At three o'clock. At four. At three thirty. So we just pay attention that we don't use o'clock. 4.3.30. We always say at 3.30. For all the times that we want to talk, 10.30, 1 o'clock, we don't forget this apostrophe, 2. For all of them, we use the preposition at, at 10.30, at 1 o'clock, at two, even we can say at 3.15. The class starts at 3.15. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to follow our YouTube channel and introduce us to your friends. Please share this video. Don't forget with El Sol Education, you can learn faster, better, and also cheaper. Bye.